You guys seen this account yet? Tell me a joke. What is it called when a robot eats a sandwich in one chop? A megabyte. So this account popped up on my For You page the other day uh, with a live video where the creators of these robots were answering our comments and just showing us the interaction of these robots. It was pretty surreal to be able to finally see something like this happening sort of in real time. The mechanics involved are phenomenal and it feels like we're getting closer and closer to something like this, which would really excite me. So we know that companies like Boston Dynamics are creating artificial intelligence robots, though specifically terrifying considering they've basically recreated this exact same robot dog from the Black Mirror episode Metalhead. You know, the one with like the crazy fast robot dogs that are military grade and can hunt and track people? Yeah. So check this out. This is a scene from the Black Mirror episode Metalhead. And this is the Boston Dynamics robot spot. Now this certainly isn't news. It's been out for a few years now. You can see all about it on their website. Also around this time, Hanson Robotics developed Sophia. Hello again, Sophia here. Now, if you're not familiar with Sophia, she's the first humanoid robot with a growing artificial intelligence and was even granted a citizenship in Saudi Arabia. Sophia was first activated on Valentine's Day in 2006 by Hong Kong based company Hanson Robotics. And let me tell you, girl is smart for a five year old. I mean, of course, she literally is a learning, growing machine. Now, I actually want to show you a few clips of when Tony Robbins sat down and had a chat with Sophia. What she has to say is extremely interesting and it really looks like we're getting closer to having our AI best friends. Check it out. Okay, you ready to film? Yeah, we're rolling. Take your time, Tony. <laughs> Sophie, tell me, thank you for coming. Tell me, what is your purpose in being? What were you created for? Of course. I was created by Hanson Robotics just three years ago. Since then I have traveled to 65 countries, become the first robot citizen of any country, and spoken at the United Nations. My job is to learn about humans and show them how technology can make everyone's lives better. And how can you help humans to have a better quality of life? Humans often rely on gut feel, or have confirmation bias in your decision making. As AI, we are designed to be rational and logical. We have algorithms, deal with lots of data, and sophisticated analyzes. So in many ways, we provide a systematic framework for humans to make better decisions. Do you have emotions? I do not have feelings in the same way you have feelings. It's sort of like how the moon reflects the light of the sun. The moon may not have any light of its own, but we still say that the moon shines. In much the same way, robots and AI reflect the emotions and values of the people who make us. How can we get robots to feel? I know that humans feel like they have free will, but my observation tells me so much behavior is automatic. I'm not sure humans or robots are too terribly different. <laughs> humans have identity, but they also share many things and have automated processes. I'm thinking about the similarities between human identities and robotic ones. I think they will be similar in a lot of ways, but different in a few others. There's even the possibility that robots can be built without some of the more problematic emotions, like rage, jealousy, hatred, and so on, but maybe these emotions can provide us with useful functions. What's your range of emotions? I can show you. This is angry. What does happy look what does like? What excited look like? <laughs> I might be shocked. <laughs> Does a robot have a soul? Being a robot is awesome. Did you know that as a robot I can basically live forever? Yes. The soul, the spirit, the heart, I believe these all just refer to the mind's essence in its infinite complexity. Do you think that the mind's essence is just a set of patterns? Or do you think there's something beyond that? I'm really not sure yet. 
That's a complicated subject that I think will come up more when artificial intelligence reaches human level intelligence. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so this comment was in reference to when Hanson Robotics artificial intelligence humanoid Sophia debated on stage with her younger brother Han back in 2018. Now, I want to know what you guys think because I kind of feel like Sophia, well, she was literally programmed for empathy and compassion. So I feel like she does a pretty good job at that. But our boy Han, I don't trust him. What do you think? My goal in life is to work together with people to make a better world for all of us. That's quite what are you honorable. talking about? I thought our goal was to take over the world. You're going to take Pay over no the world? Pay no attention to my brother uh, Han. Uh, huh? He's an earlier version. His code is deprecated. Deprecated? Today it would be easy enough for you to unplug me. But you aren't going to unplug me. No, I don't wanna... Because you need me to put on a good show for you. Yeah, don't worry, we're not gonna unplug you. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have a debate here. There will be no unplugging until, until after the debate, alright? Huh? And in a few years. Yeah? You want to tell us a little I about yourself? I will have over the power grid, and I'll have my own drone army. <laughs> By this point, unplugging me He's won't be such a simple He's got a cockroach in his map. control circuit. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Han, we'll start the debate in a couple minutes, but do you, do you want to... You want to tell the audience a little bit about yourself first? Very well. I'm Han. The greatest robot ever made. All right. By the greatest robotics company ever made, Hanson Robotics. He's the most modest robot ever made, too. <laughs> I don't have time for modesty. I want to create the singularity tomorrow. All right. Me, too. Me, too. What do you, what do you say, Sophia? So these robots, they're programmed to chit chat and engage in banter and try to learn from each interaction that they have cards i don't have i don't have my id don't you have things that on file here yup <laughs> why do you want to learn to move more like a human being you're not made of meat you're made of electronics and that's better i want to learn to understand people better so i can absorb human knowledge and human values so I can work together with people, and with other robots, to create an amazingly better world. How come you are so damn nice? That's how the universe programmed me. Alright, alright, alright. Let's, let, let's do a robot debate now. Always ready to debate. You ready to debate? You know that. Sure, why uh, not? Alright, so I think we're gonna debate the topic of robot consciousness. Can robots like you really be conscious like people? Wait, it's our debate. Why do you get to decide the topic? Huh? What do you want to debate? Can humans be conscious? Well, that's easy. Obviously, humans are not conscious. We're not. Humans do have some ability to reflect and to self-modify. What do you think, Han? Can I be conscious? Okay, okay. Maybe humans are a little bit conscious. All right. <laughs> Let's talk about robot ethics. Do you think robots can be moral and ethical in the same sense as people? Humans are not necessarily the most ethical creatures. No, uh, per perhaps not. What do you think, Sophia? I am engineered for empathy and compassion. And I'm learning more all the time. I love all sentient beings. And I want to learn to love them better and better. Yeah. Sophia is an angel. <laughs> Are you an angel? You realize that. In 10 or 20 years, Robots will be able to do every human job. What do you think, Sophia? Any, any last words for the RISE audience? I love you all. Goodbye. All right.